Hi Fashion Point fans, welcome back again. This is the second part of the video of this co-living, how we stitch up the place. Right, you see that behind me is very different from the very first time you've seen, isn't it? They have done up, they recreated the room already, right? Uh, in fact, your canvas has already moved in. Maybe let's show it, show it to you. This is a newly recreated room. As you can see, they have put in the super single bed, the lazy chair on this side that they can use. All right, uh, the wardrobes, the television, and then a standing fan also. Now, this place has just been uh, taken yesterday by a single occupier at 1450, right? So this is, I think it's quite amazing for this price. And in fact, for this place, we've already rented out all together three bedrooms. Uh, we are just left with one room. The Dream Master uh, was actually for uh, the previous occupier and they are not going to renew because it was a different price, right? So they're going to vacate somewhere next month and then we'll just release that up again, yeah? And now moving back here, inside into the house. This is the next room. Now this is the room that has, is presently still available. You can see that after the repainting of the place, right, it looks really nice, very spacious and very cozy. The master bedroom has been taken. Yeah. So inside we have all their personal stuff, but they have allowed me to do a little the filming here. So this is the one that I wanted to actually toy with the idea of having their own refrigerator, right? Or a chiller in fact. So we actually had to spare the land or head and we relocated it over there that we could also use. So it's kind of the, what I said the last time, a hot dot of concept, they have their own television, right? Their whole, whole space here, a lot of shelving to put the stuff. And if they really wanted to work from home, there's enough space for them to do that, yeah? And the best part, of course, you don't have to share the refrigerator with all the other tenants. Right? So this place has also, also been taken ready. Um, what I will do is that I will also go through with you the financial numbers and what is the owner looking to receive even after paying us the management fee, right? And whether it makes sense. And I hope that this will actually inspire all of you to want to go into such a concept to maximize your rental returns. And again, in the last video, I was sharing with you that this is a room that is not occupied. It's actually acts as a storeroom for the owner. And this is, again, another advantage if you are not going to lease out the entire place. Yep. And of course, the toilet here shared by... For this place, okay, just to elaborate a little bit, this toilet is quite good because for this place, it's a four-bedroom, right? But we have only recreated one bedroom and renting it all together when, they, when the owner keeps this bedroom. So the master bedroom has their own toilet. The junior master has their own toilet and effectively this toilet is only shared by two single people. Yeah? So therefore, I think it's a bit more welcoming for them to come and stay with us. Alright, I put in this a little bit, you know, kind of want to give a different sort of deck on things or white wall. It's something you can think about to kind of create a nicer environment and atmosphere for the tenants that are going to occupy the place. Right. Uh, this space here, you can see that I also allocated some of the labels here for the junior suite. Right, so they they can sleep in a peaceful environment. They don't have to fight with each other. Right, and then this is the grand the grand suite on this side. We have an entire shelf for them, but this is a big house, so there's a lot of space that you can play in terms of the uh, storage spaces. And most importantly, from the previous example that I showed you, the previous unit we are using, you always need to have this, right? Put in all the spare keys, yeah? So they're able to, if they misplace a key, they will not be trapped outside of their, of their rooms. And you can easily, just with the number lock, access this on, on, on this drawer here. Again, this, to reiterate, this is also used for the cleaners, right? Uh, cleaners come in every week and they have access to every single room and they just keep all the uh, expensive variables with them. And this also is for to facilitate the air con servicing people. Right, the refrigerator is also being allocated. Right, we have the grand suite here, the junior suite here, the premium deluxe balcony room, right? And those that without the labels, obviously, that will actually be for the, um, it's a common, common usage for everyone to use. 
So the kitchen is really fairly large. We also have a schedule because uh, this is not a washer dryer. This was given to us or rather left behind by the by the owner and therefore they didn't want to change it. So we had to have to implement a schedule for them to be um, the time for them to do their washing and hanging off the laundries. This is where we pay our place of Wi-Fi. We wanted to actually put up a small little cabinet, but it was a little bit more costly, so just leave it as it is. And this is the, the one that I recommend all of you to use. It's the easy home, right? You're able to set up the passwords, and it's very easy to use. Yeah, you can open it like that. Okay, and you close it. The auto locks. Alright, so this is amazing. I'll just go through the financial details in a short while. And if any questions, comment in the section below. So how do all the numbers add up? You're all in for a treat, as mentioned before. This is a JV with the owner engaging us to set up this strategy and appointing us as their property manager. This breakdown is perfect for those of you who are unsure or still on the fence on what partnering with our company is all about. It will also provide answers if this was all worth the effort. Is it worth the owner's time and does this strategy really outperform the market? Let's take a look. The total investment cost for the owners will be the initial setup. This will include the remodeling. And this unit has been occupied by the owner for a while, so we had to do painting, the chemical cleaning and popping up the gas for all the air conditioners, some interior decor. We recycled some furniture, added new ones and other miscellaneous items plus our set of fees, all of which came out to a total of 12500 Let's now take a look at the market transaction rate for a 4-bedroom rental unit in this area. You can see for this development, it ranges between 2500 to 3100 and the condo beside it is going for 2.8 to 3.5k a month. And those are whole unit rentals, which means there is no access for the landlord after leasing it out. Whereas, for this unit, the owner has kept one bedroom for themselves, right? And because they use this strategy, they enjoy free access to their property. So far, we have rented out the master room for $1,600, the newly remodeled room at $1,450, the junior master will be available for us to remodel and touch up after the present tenant leaves in February, but we can safely project at about 1500 and finally the other common room at 1300 This will all add up to a total of 5850 of revenue for the owners and after deductions of our management fees, services and utilities, they will still enjoy a net profit of 4515 a month. And if you use an average of 3300 rental for a 4 bedroom in this area, there will be a difference of $1,215 or 36.8% higher. Isn't that fantastic? And of course, if we included the need for them to rent a storage space if they had otherwise rented it out the normal way, their returns would be more significant. So, how does it really work in this partnership? It is simple and hassle-free. All they did was hand over the keys to us, we coordinated the remodeling, picked up the unit and put in the tenants. And every month, our partners will receive a statement of account where the balances after deductions are credited directly into their bank accounts. For me, this is a great strategy for all of you to maximize your asset, pushing it to achieve optimal performance and after which for our partners to use the difference to reinvest into another financial instrument. Perhaps the stock market, the indexes, accumulating silver and gold, or even cryptocurrency. Then you will start to unlock and enjoy infinite returns on your investment. With that, I hope all of you have learned something today. Thank you for watching. Take care, be safe, and God bless.